Hello friends, in this video we will go over profit and loss, one of the important topics that you will use on a regular basis if not daily. So let's get started. Uh, we need to understand a few concepts around uh, profit and loss. For instance, uh, cost price, sale price or selling price and then we determine profit percentage or gain percentage and then the loss uh, as well as the loss percentage. So cost price. Uh, cost price is nothing but the amount you pay to buy an item. For example, uh, you might buy a dozen apples for 10 rupees. Um, so that becomes your cost price. So for instance, here in this example I've mentioned you buy a painting for 10 euros, so then 10 euros becomes your cost price. Then you have something called a sale price or the selling price. It's the amount you sell the item for to anyone else. For instance, if you bought the painting for 10 euros, uh, a year later, um, and it was probably you know one of the few paintings uh, remaining in you know uh, uh, its price went up uh, over time and then you decide to sell it and uh, the you, you sold it for 12 euros then that 12 euros becomes your sales price so uh, common sense right if the selling price is more than the cost price then obviously you made a profit if your sale price was less than the cost price then you incurred a loss so in this scenario since our sale price was 12 euros and the cost price was 10 uh, the difference is 2 euros and so you made a profit of 2 euros uh, if on the other hand if you were to sell uh, the painting for less than what you bought for for instance if you sold it for nine euros then you incur a loss which is calculated by the cost price minus the selling price because the cost price is higher than the selling price and then uh, it's <coughs> one euro is your loss okay then we come to calculate uh, the percentages so if you want to calculate the profit percentage uh, uh, your gain percentage then it's calculated using this formula gain percentage is the gain divided by the cost price times 100 <laughs> so since in our example we incur we made a uh, gain of uh, or a profit of 2 euros and the numerator becomes 2, 2 divided by 10 times 100 that's 20%. So your gain is 20%. Um, if you wanted to calculate the loss percentage if uh, in our example the sale price was 9 euros then you incurred a loss and then the loss percentage is nothing but the, uh, but loss divided by the sale price times 100 and so in that case it would be 1 divided by 10 times 100 which is 10 percent so let's take another example uh, say for instance we're given a loss percentage uh, 10 percent uh, cost price is 100 rupees you're asked to calculate the sale price so you um, insert your formula loss percentage is nothing but loss divided by this cost price times 100 so you put in the numbers 10 equals loss which is nothing but cost price minus sales price remember when you incur a loss the cost price is always more than the sale price in uh, in a profit the cost price is less than the sale price so make sure you uh, take that into consideration so uh, after you insert your numbers you get 100 equals as cost price minus sales price divided by cost price times 100 we've already been given what cost price is so 10 equals 100 minus sales price divided by 100 the, everything times 100 100 and 100 cancel out and so we're left with sale price equals 90 so if we 
trying to tally it, uh, it turns out to be correct. 90 uh, was the sale price and cost price was 100. Um, so since the difference is 10 and the loss percentage becomes 10%. Which matches with what you're given. Another example, you're given the gain percentage uh, as well as the sales price, you're asked to calculate the cost price. If you're given the gain percentage, then obviously the person made a profit. So you put the gain percentage formula, uh, which is gain divided by cost price times 100, replace gain with sales price minus cost price since we know sales price is always more than the cost price when you make a profit so after inserting that you get the cost price it turns out to be 90 point uh, 91 and that's in dollars since we're given the sales price in dollars oh, our answer is 90.9091 which is nothing but 90.91 dollars and there you go if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this video please share this with others as well as subscribe to our channel appreciate it thank you very much